And so now we'll address how to load external media such as bitmaps, swifts, sounds, and XML into Flash using ActionScript 3. And we're going to cover all of these different media types together because it's another great example of the consistency that uh, version 3 brings to ActionScript. In other words, once you know how to load one thing, you can load them all. So we'll start by talking about loading bitmaps and swifts, which is a very common uh, requirement in, in work in Flash. So in ActionScript 2, we had Load Movie, which was very easy, a very easy way of loading bitmaps and swifts into Flash, uh, which had been part of Flash since Flash 4. And Movie Clip Loader, which was a better, more powerful way of loading external media. It was a little more complex to use, but it gave you much more control over the process. Now in ActionScript 3, both Load Movie and Movie Clip Loader are gone. And so instead, what we use is a loader class. And because we're referencing an external file, we have to wrap our loader, uh, the, re the load request in our loader, in a URL request. So you'll see here that we're going to create a new loader called BG Loader. And then we're going to load a new URL request pointing to, in this case, a JPEG into that loader. And because we want users to be able to see this, we're going to add the loader to the stage by writing add child BG Loader. So if we look at the loading stuff folder, Step one, loading bitmaps and swifts, basic loader. We'll see the code, the same code, that uh, we just reviewed on the slide. So as I test this movie, now we'll see that the JPEG has loaded and has been added to the stage so it's visible. Now to illustrate that the same exact code can load a Swift, I'm going to comment out line 9 and then uncomment line 10 and test the movie once more. And now we'll see that the Swift, called Swift to Load, is, uh, has been loaded and added to the display list.